Hello, welcome to Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to finally talk about doing these confidence intervals with uh, variance and standard deviation. It's the same kind of concept. We want to find a window into what our population is doing and we want to create that window that contains the standard deviation or the variance of our population data from some sampling that we have done. Now what makes this a little bit different is that in order to do it with the variance and the standard deviation we have to use the chi-square distribution. And that part of it you just have to accept. There's no proof of that that I'm going to give you now, but you just have to accept that we're going to use that distribution. And since the chi-score distribution is not symmetrical, it leads to a little more cumbersome technique to get there. But once we outline it and do some problems, I think you'll understand it. So, uh, but just kind of be ready for that. It's going to look a little bit different than the confidence intervals we've done in the past. Uh, the main thing I need to tell you though is remember from confidence intervals in general, usually what we do is we take our sample data and we say, okay, we have a value of three that we get from our sample data. That's going to be the middle of our confidence interval. And in the past, we have found a margin of error. We add that to the sample, um, the, the sample data that we got from, uh, from our point estimate, and then we also subtract. That creates our confidence interval window. That's what we've done all up until now. But Think about it for a second. The reason we were able to find a margin of error and add and subtract, the only reason we were able to do that is because in those other cases, those distributions were symmetrical. In other words, if you go from the middle and you look to the right, and then you go from the middle and you look to the left, you have an exact mirror image on both sides. So because of the symmetrical nature of those distributions, we could then take the point estimate, find a margin of error, and add and subtract this error. Right? But since this distribution is not symmetric, it's weirdly skewed, you can't just do that. You can't just add and subtract. So we're not going to be finding a margin of error, and we're not going to be adding and subtracting it to a point estimate like we've done before. So what we're going to end up doing is following, the, uh, following uh, this process. So this is a confidence intervals for variance and standard deviation. And we are going to get to some problems, I promise you, but I have some overhead that I need to get through. The procedure. I'm going to write this down for you. I thought long and hard about whether I should write it down, but I really think it'll help you in the end. Even though if you don't understand all the steps right now, just kind of get through it with me and then just kind of stay with me and then we'll, I promise I'll make it clear, but in the beginning you might not understand why I'm writing all this down. Okay, number one, from the samples that you, uh, that you obtain, the sample data that you have, you want to find what we're calling S squared. This is the uh, variance of the sample data. S means uh, sample data, variance, and then squared, that means variance. All right, so we want to calculate that. We can do that from sample data. We know how to find the variance when we have raw data. Okay, number two, from the confidence